Hello, my name is Andrew Morris. I'm a retired electronics engineer, and my gadget this time is an electronic thermostat for a space heater. Because it can be stuck on the wall and, and mounted some distance away from the heater, it controls the temperature of a room far more precisely than could to be done with, a, uh, with the thermostat built into the heater, whether it's electronic or mechanical. Uh, as you can see, when you turn it past the ambient, the dial past the ambient temperature, the LED and the heater would come on, and if you go below the temperature, it goes out. Uh, because we don't have the time to hook up a heater and, uh, and watch it regulate the temperature of the room, I'm going to be using a heat gun to test it. We turn the heat gun on, and then uh, turn, the temp turn the dial, and of course, when you, you know, and it, and it turns off. So, okay, when you turn it, okay, when the, when the uh, room gets warm, it shuts off. Because the heat gun got this thing way hotter than it's supposed to, uh, we use the fan here to try to cool it down quickly. See, the thing works. Okay, uh, the uh, power unit is uh, built into the shell of a remote control that I'd hacked up for a previous project. But because it's essentially a piece of scrap and uh, whatever you use will be entirely different, we're not really going to open this one up. So uh, but we'll open up the, uh, the control unit and let you have a look inside. There's the uh, electronics. There's not much to it. This is a little circuit that, uh, this is part of the power supply that's intentionally put in here uh, instead of in here to use as heat to suck air through the, uh, through the box to uh, speed up the response. And that's about it. Thank you.